Cloudy skies. Could make for some nice, uh, nice scenery in the sky. There are two versions of this track. One, I think, is the original author. And uh, it's that they tend to take other people's work and uh, do a little bit of this, that, and the other, but still leave the track largely unfinished and then sell it for a cost. I don't know about all that. I just know what I read in the Reddits. There are right ways and wrong ways to do that sort of thing, too. So um, I just want to make it clear that I'm not necessarily endorsing sim tracks, but I did like this track, and uh, I feel it was worth the money that I paid for it. So starts a little bit differently. Uh, you know, when you when you think about auto racing, at least me current era when I think about auto racing I think about cars starting a race all at one time and you know Le Mans the history of the running to the cars and starting the cars and getting them off the line altogether it's been a long and storied uh, part of that particular race and it's changed obviously significantly no longer do they run to the car and start running before getting fully belted in um, but this race the Targa Florio driven around uh, mountain roads in Sicily, Italy. The roads were too narrow and dangerous to really do a traditional racing start where there would be a lot of calamity at the start of the race with people passing each other and... ...opportunistically stop and re refill their tank and get back going again. The race uh, had multiple versions of a mountainous course, um, the longest of which was 144 kilometers long, which I'm sure was a sight to behold. The final versions, uh, like you could knit a sweater going down Milsan. Not really, but this track, constantly in motion, constantly turning. I mean, there are some long straights towards the end of the course, but for the most part, this is treacherous mountain road. The driver's doing a lot of work, so six or seven. I have a love affair with this car, mostly because of its moniker in the commercialization of it. So uh, 904 was uh, thought up, created, you might say, 1963. Um, they had them ready to race construction of a head that was uh, hemispherical, so hemispherical cylinder heads. You might recognize that um, Dodge in 51, I believe, trademarked the term Hemi referring to hemispherical heads. Uh, it's a construction or design that uh, gives the car more power. It's a pretty decent uh, decent power for a, a two liter engine. Although Porsche and their factory, they built three engines or three engines uh, that were based on the uh, Formula One car that Porsche had devised in uh, 61, which is what this is that I'm driving. And uh, they were fast, no joke about it. As I said, uh, one of them took off of the lead in the 1964 Targa Florio. They won a few other races as well. So yeah, this car was designed by uh, Ferdinand Alexander Porsche.
Ferdinand Alexander Porsche, also known affectionately as Bootsy, although I have never heard the reason why Bootsy. That's an interesting name. First, uh,